Hi, I am Dr. Vidushi from Suvi Eye Hospital, Kota in India and in this video we demonstrate the technique of performing a frontalis sling surgery for bilateral severe blepharotosis using a non-absorbable suture material, specifically 4-0 ethibond in this case. Now this is the pre-operative photograph of the child who shows severe ptosis and the child also had a chin elevation as well as frontalis overaction. Silicon sling is the preferred material and is used very widely all over the world. However, the cost is still a factor in the developing countries and therefore suture materials have been used widely in countries like India and in our experience give quite satisfactory results as you will see here. Now these are the skin incisions are being marked before performing the surgery. Three lid incisions are marked uh, about 3 mm above the lid margin. There is a trend now to perform these, uh, make these incisions closer to the lid crease. However, as we go higher up above the lid margin, the effectiveness of the sling may decrease and therefore in cases of severe blepharotosis like this one, it is important to mark these incisions closer to the lid margin to ensure good effectiveness of the surgery. Once these lid incisions have been marked, we then mark three incisions above the eyebrow. The two medial and lateral incisions are just above uh, or just wider apart compared to the equivalent medial and lateral incisions in the eyelid and the final uh, supra brow incision is about 1 cm above the brow. Once all the incisions have been marked, we then pass stay sutures through the eyelid margin. and uh, use a lid spatula coated with ointment to guard the eyeball. The marked incisions are then uh, made and the incisions are deepened down uh, in the eyelid to the level of the tarsal plate. As you can see here this is the white shiny tarsal plate that can be seen through the incisions. Similarly the supra brow incisions uh, are also deepened uh, to allow a good burial of the knots uh, subsequent to the surgery. In bilateral surgeries it is the symmetry that is the most important factor and both the eyelids are being done here simultaneously uh, with incisions being made first on one eye and then in the other eye. We then pass, uh, pass the uh, 40 ethibond suture uh, through the lid incisions and this is at the level of the tarsus plate. The correct depth is crucial because placing it very deep or very superficial can result in entropion or ectropion. After passing through the lid incisions, uh, these, this suture is then passed into the supra brow incision below the orbicularis muscle. And the suture tract should be visible while passing it so that we can ensure that it is not too deep or not too superficial. So this is as described in the Crawford double triangle technique. Once we have passed the two triangles from the lid incision to the supra brow incision, we can tie the knot and these initial knots just above the brow help in forming a good eyelid contour while the final height of the eyelid is normally determined by the final knot placed in the middle incision above the brow. These are the knots uh, being tied in the incisions just above the brow. It is important in these incisions to make a good pocket by dissecting deeper so that the knots are well buried and do not lead to complications later like in the form of exposed knots or suture granulomas etc. We check the lid contour by adjusting the uh, tension on these uh, two triangles so that the lid contour is good. Uh, again, uh, the lid contour is extremely important in the cases of ptosis. At some times, it may even be more important than the actual height of the eyelid achieved as a good correction with a poor lid contour will give a very unpleasant or displeasing appearance to the eyelid. One end of each of these uh, triangles is then passed further up to the middle supra brow incision and then the final knot is tied 
and the tension on this knot can be titrated as the tension here determines the final height of the eyelid and we do the two eyelids simultaneously so that we can titrate each and every knot and ensure that the results are as symmetrical as possible between the two eyes. The knots are then well buried and the incisions above the brow are closed with 6-0 Vicryl. The incisions on the eyelid need not be closed as they will heal on their own. And as you can see here, this is the appearance of the child after the surgery. Note that the uh, height of the eyelid is very good. Also the uh, lid crease is quite normal. The slight uh, puffiness above the uh, eyelid crease goes away with time as this is an immediate post-operative uh, video. And the scars that are seen just above the eyebrow also disappear over one or two months. And the child as seen here looks very happy and so are his parents. So in summary, uh, sling surgery for severe blepharotosis is the only option when the levator action is very poor and it gives a very cosmetically acceptable result in bilateral cases because of the symmetry achieved. While silicon slings are the most widely used material all over the world, suture materials in the form of non-absorbable suture like 4-0 ethibond used here continue to be a viable option which give very good results at a fraction of the cost. Thank you very much.